Let me explain the question. See, when you look at the first question, all of you take a paper. When you look at the question on question A, they said the question concerns the following organic compounds. A was what? C2H5OH. What was B? C4H10. What was C? CH3COOH. What was D? C4H8. Now they say A, I am not a compound. A. Since A was C2H5OH, what is COH? You know that is what? Alcohol, right? So the functional group of H is what? Or the homologous is what? Alcohol. Now look at B. B is C4H10. Which compound is that? That's butane, right? Yes. S is an H. So which homologous is that? Alkane. Look at C. C says what? CH3COOH. Why you see COOH? Which homologous is that? Carboxylic acid, right? So that's a good compound. That is ethanoic acid. Now look at this last compound, C4H8. Compare C4H8 to C4H10. What's the difference? Difference of two hydrogen, right? So which compound is that? Means it has a double bonds, right? That should be what? An alkene. And if it's an alkene, we say a butane. How do we call it? A butene, right? Now they have come here now and they're asking you, they're still continuing that same question. The compound B exhibits isomerism. What was compound B? Butane, right? Now they say define isomerism, right? Now the next part, draw two isomers of the compound. What was B? Butane. Now from the board now. Where is the butane there? Butane is C4H10. 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. C4H10. That's the original compound, right? Now where are the isomers of that butane? Show me. That isomer. Look at the definition of isomer. It is the existence of two or more compounds with the same what? Molecular formula, but different what? Structural formula. It means the same number of carbon must be there. The same hydrogen atom must be there. But now the way you arrange it is what? Different. That's the meaning of what we call what? Isomerism. Look here, this one has the original carbon has how many carbon? Four. Now how many carbon have here? Is this an isomer of this? It's already wrong. Eh? So you have to adopt this thing whether what it has the same carbon, same hydrogen, but it's now you're putting what in a different structure. It's okay. Give me a chop there. Mr. Paul, don't do a research work. Eh? Don't do a research work. So if we want to put this in an isomeric form, what can we do? Instead of having one, two, three, four, right? We can put three right. Then we we'll next carbon what? We put it down. So this what? One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10. Is this molecular formula the same as this molecular formula? They have the same molecular formula, right? Because they have four carbon. How many hydrogen? 10. Same as the original compound. It's okay. That's how you draw what? Isomer. What as one element is different from the other? If this one has four, and now you are drawing the one has just three carbon, it is wrong. It's okay. So we should be very careful. Where is this? Oh, where? This one? Then you will show me this thing. You know what is this? You talk this thing. Eh? And what thing with isomer? If you are writing an isomer of a particular compound, if it is for RK, make sure that the isomer should also be what? RK. Like, look at what you have come and done here. Yeah, what have you written here? You were, you were asked of what? Butane. But then you're about what? Butene. It's wrong. It's okay. Butene is what? That is already another homologous thing. This is what? The alkane group. It's okay. You should be careful. We're not all aware of questions. Next step, participant. Butene compound leaves are converted from This compound leaves are converted from did you get a question? She is saying that compound Z can convert to compound what? B. That's alkene to alkene. So what process do you call? Addition reaction. Okay, continue. Now the reagent to convert alkene to alkene, you say use nickel catalyst, right? They have all the reagents. They do not have reaction condition. Continue. Compound A reacts with compound C in the presence of 
Function of sulfuric acid is not hydrogen sulfate. H2SO4, right? It's sulfuric acid. You say it acts as what? A catalyst. Are you sure? Dehydrating or a drying agent. Eh? Continue. <laughs> 